The gets all axes of class node in Unreal Engine gets all the axes in the level that use a specific class. That class is defined by the axe class input. So if I click on the select class button, and for example set it to AI controller, then it will get all the axes in the level that use the AI controller class. Then it will output them to an array of that class type. So if you can see here, if I hover on out axes, it's an array of AI controller object references. Now, before we can, you know, use this node, we kind of need to know what we should use it for. So here in my first person map, I have a few cubes and spheres. All these cubes and spheres are their own blueprint classes. So the cube is BP cube and the sphere is BP sphere. Now what I want to do is every time I press E on my keyboard, I want to show and hide all the uh, cubes in the level. So if I go to my BP first person character, what I do is when I press E on my keyboard, I flip flop between hidden and non-hidden. So I just change this uh, variable over here so that when I do hide the axe, I hide and show them correctly. Then I want to get the axes of class. So what I want to do is I want to get the BP cubes. So I'm going to select this AI controller and say it to BP cube. And then on the out axis, I take all the out axis. I use a for each loop to go over every single axe in that array. And then what I do is I set them hidden or non-hidden, depending on the flip flop over here. So it's important to note when you change the gets all axes of class node and you're using a for each loop, it's preferred to disconnect the array and the array element first because what I find is the for each loop doesn't always correctly update to the specific um, array type you're using. So we're going to then connect the out axis and the array element back, compile and save. And what I should see is when I press E on my keyboard, all the cubes should disappear. So every time I press E, they show um, and hide, you know, when I press E. Now it's important to note that if I go to this get all axis of class node, I can click on BP cube and search for BP sphere and I can change it to BP sphere. And if I then again disconnect the array elements, connect them both back and compile and save, then when I press pray and press E, I show and hide the sphere. Now we're going to first again go back to the BP cube. So I'm going to go from BP sphere to BP cube. And what I want to show you is if I compile and save, oh yeah, just have to disconnect the array and the array elements again, connect that back up and compile and save. Then when I press E, of course, all the cubes disappear. But what I didn't show you is that some of these cubes are actually child classes. So if I open up my content browser, you can see I have a BP cube underscore child, which means that it's a child class. So if you're searching for the main class of something, it will also re um, return child classes. So that's also very important to note. Um, other than that, it's also important to note that this kind of works like a cast in a way. So if I were to go ahead and remove the set axe in the game, so disconnect both of them, move them away and I can like drag a pin off the array element and do a test function, then I can actually call functions from these arrays. So if I compile and save and if I hit play, when I press E, you can see test function is being called which uh, the function only prints out test function. So that means we're calling functions on all these axes. It's also important to note there's multiple ways of interacting with an array. So if I drag out the out axis and do a get a copy and connect that, for example, to, uh, let me just uh, remove the for each loop, bring back the set axis hidden in game, connect this get node in and plug that over here, compile, save. If I press E, only one of those cubes should disappear. And if I go back over here and set the get for example to one so the first or uh, well the second object in the array and then i press e a different cube to disappear now it's important to note that the gets all axis of class is very slow the reason for that is it has to go over every axis in the level until it finds all the axes that you use this class it goes over them one by one so there's a lot of ways to optimize it um the best way is to not use it a lot but if you want a really easy and quick way to optimize it mostly what you can do is you can right click make a begin play and on begin play we get all the axes of class. So then, you know, we call it and then we drag off that, get the add axis and promote to a variable. Now this variable 
we will then use to do that. So after the set's hidden, we'll instead of using this gets over here alone, we just connect the out axis to it. Now, if we compile and save, when I press E on my keyboard, the axis still disappears over there. Um, but we're not calling the get whole axis repeatedly. We only call it once and then we save the value. It's important to note that you can also, you just, every time you want to update this, if you have new axes of that type in your level and you call it, it will also get those axes. So every time you use it, save the axes to a variable to use them for later. But uh, yeah, that's it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like content, please subscribe. Hit like if you liked the video. Hit dislike if you didn't. And see you guys in the next one. Good night, everybody.